In this section, we are going to build the app that we can plug into our main function. So come down below the curly braces and we're gonna create a class and I am gonna call it app. You can call it whatever you want. And this app is going to use a keyword called extends and it is going to extend a stateless widget and then we're gonna open up curly braces. So we won't worry too much about extends at this point, but essentially what this does is our app class is going to sit on top of another class written for the Flutter framework called a stateless widget. And if you hover over it and you right click and go to go to definition, you can actually see that class in Visual Studio Code. So this is all the code that's contained within a stateless widget that we thankfully do not have to write. When we extend, we have access to the methods inside stateless widget. And in fact, we will be required to implement some of those methods inside stateless widget. And it's that requirement that is actually leading to this red squiggly line under here. This is gonna say we're missing concrete implementation of stateless widget dot build. And what that means is because we are extending this stateless widget class, that stateless widget class says you have to have a build method for every stateless widget you build. That tells the Flutter framework, this is what you're gonna do every time this widget is created. Now there is another kind of widget called a state full widget, but again, we're not gonna worry about that for now. We're gonna start with a stateless widget and we are going to implement our required method, which is the build method. There is an easy way to do this. Uh, you can hover over the app, you can go to the light bulb and you can create the one missing override like that. But I'm actually gonna just type it out by hand this first time. So I am going to type at override. And what that means is that I am about to write a function with the same name as something that already exists in the stateless widget. And I want my version of that to take precedent. And in fact, this stateless widget requires it. It has a build function, but it's not designed to be used. It throws an error, just as we just saw, if you don't write your own. So my override is going to be a build method and my build method is going to return a widget. Everything's a widget. All right, so that's my build method and my build method requires that I pass in a build context, which I will call context. So this is the type and this is the variable name context. And then I'm going to open a curly brace. This context is very important to your application. Fortunately, you don't have to worry too much about it. The context is the information that the application needs to pass around in order to function properly. Some example of information that might be in your context, it might be where you've been in your route. So when you hit back on your browser or on your phone, the context knows where you've been, so it knows the page to send you to when you hit back. Any kind of information the Flutter framework needs to operate is in the context. You as the programmer, you don't have to put it there and you don't have to worry about it. You just have to supply it where it is needed. All right, so our build method is uh, still not happy. We've got a, a squiggly line here and that's saying that we need to return something uh, inside of our build method. And so we are gonna return a, an app. If we remember back to our diagram, that's what we're building here. We need to build this app to pass to our main function. And we are going to build a material app. And I said there were different kinds of apps and we are gonna start with a material app. I like to put the properties down on the next line. So I hit space twice and then hit enter, which gets me to the next line. There are a number of properties on your app. If you hit control space bar, you can see what they all are. We are just gonna fill out a minimal amount and I'm gonna start with title. So I'll call this my first Flutter app. I'm gonna create a theme 
and this is where you can build global styles for your application. This theme is actually going to take a theme data widget. And if you have doubts about what, what is required of each property, you can hover over it and see that it takes a theme data. And inside of here, again, I'm going to hit control spacebar, see all the different options I have for theming my app at a global level. The only one I'm really worried about now is the primary swatch, which is going to be the, the basic color that the material app is going to use uh, to style my app. It will take a color and it will create different shades of it uh, for different widgets. And it will do most of that automatically if I just supply a color here. And so I'm going to supply colors dot blue. So just a very basic implementation. This is a dark class here, colors, and then off of that, you can designate a color like that. All right, so that's all I really need to lay out for now. But now I have an app, so I can come up here to my main function and pass that in. And make sure I get parentheses like that. And we have resolved that error. That's actually going to crash our application at this point because it's still not very happy. And that's because we still don't have anything to display on the screen. We have a, the ability to add a new property called home here on our material app, but we do need to actually pass it something to put on the screen. So we're going to do that in the next section.